Western Pen gets here um, with a uh, sorry <laughs> with a video for you or well yeah for you guys um, about the Microsoft October Windows 10 event. I'm gonna go through this real quick with you guys. Uh, it'll probably be about 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah. Sorry. Kind of in a busy part of town. Uh, so, first off, uh, one sec. Okay, maybe that'll work. Okay, first off, uh, is HoloLens. Um, this is the new augmented reality headgear that Microsoft uh, is coming out with. Um, it was pretty, pretty fascinating, actually. Um, their demo was, you know, they had a, a special camera that could see the uh, the holograms. The, not really holograms. The, you know, what was going on in his kind of AR lens thing, but it basically, it's a, it's a, like a, it's like a little visor, you know, it's got dual HD, um, see-through screens on it, and it's got a bunch of sensors in the headgear and stuff like that, and it'll, like, read your position and your body's position and, uh, what's going on around the room and stuff like that. It's pretty cool, and it'll calculate, you know, where your couch is or your are, or whatever, you know, and so everything will interact with the stuff around you, instead of being in a virtual world, you're in the, the same world, but there's, you know, other things that'll pop up, which would be great for, like, <clears throat> for instance, if you're an architect, you know, and instead of having to build a 3D model, uh, physically right there, that'll take you hours and hours, you know, to do, and, you know, you may like that, which is fine, but it's quicker to be able to, like, you know, just be able to kind of, like, draw with your finger or something like that, you know, and just have it up on your, you know, you could go into a board meeting and have a bunch of these where all the board members have this, you know, these lenses on it. It'd be fascinating to be able to do, and then you'd, you'd have the, you wouldn't even have to have, like, paper for reports. You could just, like, boop, boop, you know. <laughs> be kind of cool. Anyway, it was pretty fascinating stuff there. Um, <clears throat> it's a completely separated computer, so the chips and everything are inside the head gear, um, the visor, and that means that you don't have to be tethered to a computer or a phone or anything like that, unlike, you know, v uh, most VR and AR. Oh, sorry. Right now, you know. So, pretty good. Their development kit uh, will cost $3,000 for that. Um, and I think it'll probably definitely come with a HoloLens, you know, along with the SDKs, you know, for it. But anyway, so that's HoloLens for you. Um, they're putting out a new Microsoft Band. It's got curved OLED display, um, GPS, UV monitoring, guided workouts, sleep tracking, calorie tracking, smart notifications, Cortana, uh, barometer, it can even measure your VO2 max, so volume of oxygen, you know, your maximum volume of oxygen, uh, you know, that you could take in and whatnot, uh, which is pretty nice for the fact that usually those tests are pretty crazy. Um, of course, I don't know how accurate it really is, but it might be pretty accurate. I don't know. You know, it can... If the... If the uh, uh, UV lights in the bottom can go through and measure the oxygen content in your blood, then it would be pretty accurate. Um... Sure. Anyway, it'll retail for $249. That's the new Microsoft Band. 
um, and it does a lot of other things too, like uh, you can measure your golf swing and blah blah blah, stuff like that. So, for you, uh, you know, heavy exercise people. Okay, and they announced, of course, the Microsoft Lumia 950 and 950 XL, not Nokia Lumia, um, because that branch of Nokia is no longer there at all. Um, of course, Microsoft bought, them, bought that branch out quite a while back, uh, but they were able to keep the Nokia name for a while. Now they can't. So, anyway... Um, which is what it is, I guess. Um, so the the the, the Lumia um, 950 and 950 XL have ad- adapted antenna technology. Basically, it has two antennas, and it'll figure out which one works the best for that time. Kind of like how the iPhone 4S, and I think the 4 even had it that way. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's not really new, uh, in my opinion. I, it might work better than, you know, than that and even other phones that have had that in the past, but yeah. Anyway, it has an octa-core, so eight cores, uh, 950XL does. The hexa-core one goes into 950, the regular which is kind of strange to me. You'd think that the bigger one would have it. Strange. Anyway, they're from Qualcomm, obviously. Which means the hexacore one's probably the 10. I don't know if the 808 is a hexacore, but, you know, it, they're in the 800s probably. Um, it's got liquid cooling technology that they use in the surface, which is interesting to me. Um, because remember, they're going to want this to be, uh, your phone that you can plug into a monitor and it will be your computer. So, um, continuity, uh, no, continuity, what the heck is it called? Continue, there we go. Anyway, I don't know. Um, 5.2 inch and 5.7 inch OLED screens with... 564 and 518 ppi. Uh, one sec, I'm getting a call. Strange. Uh, one sec. Wait, paw. Okay. Stupid things. Um, Alright, so. Where was I? Blah, 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 blah. Ugh. 564 and 518 ppi, respectively, for both of them. Um, so, I think the bigger one has the 518 ppi, and the smaller one has the 564 ppi. But I'm not quite sure yet. They didn't really specify which ones had which. So, anyway. Uh, glance screen technology, so it's basically, you know, you take it out of your pocket and it'll just light up when it, you know, the info for you. Kind of like Motorola's uh, um, one head. Yeah. So anyway, um, 20 megapixel sensor camera on the back, triple LED RGB, natural flash is what they're claiming. Um, fifth generation optical image stabilization. So they've been at this for five generations for the AYSs. So, hopefully it works well. And dedicated camera button, which is nice to have again on the Um, 32 gigabytes with expandable memory up to 2 terabytes. USB-C, which, by the way, there is no 2 terabyte micro SD card yet. And they even said that they're like, well... And they'll be able to support it, you know, it'll be there for you, theoretically. <laughs> Which, you know. Uh, the LG G4 also can go up to 2 terabytes, and I was like, what? what? The highest I could find was like 500 and something, 512, I don't know, something like that. 500 and something gigabytes. 
which is insanity. Uh, the 200 gigabyte one, because I saw it, I'm going to get off topic for a sec, but anyway, I saw in the LG G4 um, video on YouTube that there was a 200 gigabyte card in there, and I was like, wait, do they even sell 200 gigabyte? So I looked for it, well, actually, a friend of mine looked for it because he was kind of intrigued as well, and it was like $200 on sale on Amazon.com. It's 250 I was like, holy cow. Yeah, no thanks. It's, it's actually cheaper to buy. Um, there's, I got a 32 gigabyte card on sale at Walmart. Like 18 bucks or something like that. It's cheaper to buy several of those to be able to get up to 200 gigabytes than it is to buy a 200 gigabyte card. Plus, most phones only go up to 32 or 64 gigabyte. So you might as well just get multiple ones of that. Uh, of course, if your if your only phone is is one of these phones, then yeah, go for the big big ones. But uh, but yeah. Anyway, um, USB C for up to five gigabits, not gigabytes, but gigabits per second. Uh, download speeds and upload speeds like to a computer. Um, it'll charge the phone in less than 30 minutes to 50%, which is pretty darn fast. Uh, Windows Hello, which is basically like you can, you know, it'll, it'll look for your face and everything and tell it's you and whatnot with this front facing camera. Which, uh, Excuse me. By the way, they, I don't even know if they really said what their front-facing camera megapixels were, but anyway. Um, so the 950 is $549, and the 950 XL is $649, so both of them are 32 gigabytes. So. Lumia... 550. They didn't say much. They said it was a quad core processor. It's going to be $139. Uh, it might have a 720p screen. I don't know. But, uh, they didn't really say too much about it. So, they were like, this is, if you just want to kind of just come right in. Yeah, anyway. uh, Microsoft Display Dock has HDMI and DisplayPort. Uh, you know, respectively, there's two different things. Uh, three USB ports on there, so. And. Surface Pro 4, 12.3 inch display with 5 million pixels for 267 p uh, PPI pixels per inch. Um, Sense is what they're calling the whole display experience. So basically, it's going to have the touch and the uh, pen display, you know, pen interactive in interactivity is what they're calling Pixel Sense. So anyway, all that goodness. So. Uh, Gosh, I'm just oxy oxygen, mm, oxygen deprived right now, I guess. And, so, 0.4 millimeter gorilla glass four on the on the um, screen. It's photo aligned, negative LC uh, liquid crystal. 
crystal oxide display. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, 1.1 millimeter backlit unit. They're claiming this is the, the uh, thinnest display you can make right now. So, pen and touch G5 chip, uh, chipset. It's a custom uh, custom chip uh, designed by Microsoft. I don't know if it's actually made by them, but you know, it's at least, at least designed by them. 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM uh, and one terabyte of storage. So that's that's pretty crazy good. Uh, one terabyte of storage. Plus, of course, you know, you're going to have the SD card slot, the USB 3. Um, Core i7 Intel processor. We're saying this is the thinnest Core i7 uh, computer to be. This and the, I think this one. Surface book, which I'll get to. I think they're not, it's not the thinnest. Only because of the keyboard. They said it's 30% faster than Surface Pro. Rechargeable, I don't believe. They didn't say that it was, so I don't think that it is. They don't touch on it. They may not be. But anyway, don't quote me on that. Has an eraser on the end, and they made a shot at Apple saying, uh, uh, they're like, oh, it's, it's kind of funny. There's a pencil out there without an eraser, and there's a pen with an eraser now. So, and of course, they were referring to the Apple pencil which, on the end, it looks like an eraser. It's kind of cool looking, in some sense. But when you pull that off, it's actually a, a male lightning connector. So it goes straight into the uh, lightning connector port on your, um, on your iPad uh, Pro or whatever they're calling. Anyway, and... And then it, it charges up the pen, or the pencil, I mean, which they're saying it's like 15 seconds will get you like 30 minutes of a charge or something crazy. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, though, if it did. Um, has 10, 24, uh, 1,024 levels of pressure sensitivity. Magnetically attaches two surface on the side, sides, and whatever. Um, da, 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 da. clicking feature, <laughs> um, which actually does stuff. It doesn't just click and then, oh, it's clicking. It's, it actually, when you click it, you can like, take screenshots and then write on the screenshot and do stuff, you know. Um, it'll open up, like, every note, or not every note. station uh, four USB 3.0 ports two 4k display ports one gigabit Ethernet um, and, and I mean up to one gigabit uh, of data can go through but anyway gigabit Ethernet port oh no 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 I think it's I think it's actually just one port that's gigabit Ethernet uh, port which basically means that you could plug it right into the you know, the Ethernet connection that you would have at your house for, uh, 
internet, so pretty cool. Works with Pro 3 even, so that's nice of them. The type cover, sister, uh, scissor design, uh, buttons, you know, the, the buttons have a scissor design on the bottom, which gives it way less travel, but really nice for stuff, so, um, glass trackpad, instead of, like, the fiber trackpad that it has had before, and they made the trackpad bigger, so, and I think the last, the last generation may have been also glass as well, but, anyway, this one has a bigger trackpad, there, and it supports, I think, up to five finger touch, uh, support on it, so, so if you don't want to touch the screen, you can just touch the trackpad, um, close to a normal computer keyboard, uh, size, you know, so, so it doesn't, uh, you know, you pretty much have the same exact amount of room as a normal keyboard. Um, laptop keyboard. Fingerprint scanner on the side, which is nice for them to include. And Surface 3 compatible, even. So there we go again. Uh, Surface Book, first laptop ever built by Microsoft. 13.5 inch pixel sense screen. There's that pixel sense again. Um, 6 million pixels at 267 PPI. Optically bonded glass. Optically bonded glass, which is nice to have. Uh, less glare and all that stuff. Uh, plus, it feels like the screen is right there, you know, it, it's not, it's like you're looking at some kind of paper or something, pretty nice stuff, um, da, 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 there's NVIDIA GeForce GPU, um, GDDR5 memory, so it's really fast memory, um, 12 hours of life, they're saying, compared to MacBook is what they're comparing it to. They say it's two times faster. They say. Uh, um, uh, I can't remember his name, but anyway, he uh, transferred three gigabytes of info in about 30 seconds, maybe less than that. So it's pretty fast. Um, which, yeah. So anyway, starts at fourteen hundred ninety-nine dollars, and that is that. Those are the announcements that uh, that I have from the October announcement. I probably have taken more time than I was supposed to. Yikes! Hopefully, you stayed with me with this twenty-two minute video, twenty-three now. Um, anyway, um, remember that if you become a patron, if you don't, or if you. Uh, if you become a patron, you know, you can pledge even a dollar, you know, whatever. But if you pledge ten dollars, and I get a certain amount of patrons, uh, I will be doing, starting to do giveaways for the devices that I get, you know, if you're interested in some of them. Uh, also, you know, you're going to get all the other benefits that I've already talked about before, if you watch me. But anyway... Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, uh, sharing my videos, and becoming a patron. And the patron link will be in the description below. So I will talk to you guys in the next one.